Welcome to another lesson as part of your free mini course. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to optimize your store for the search engines. Now if you look at my store over at bumblebeelinens.com, SEO traffic actually makes up over a third of my sales and the best part is that that traffic is free. I don't pay a penny for it. But ranking in search is not an accident. You have to be very deliberate over which keywords to go for. You have to choose keywords with a high volume. You have to choose keywords with a very low competition. And most importantly, you actually have to populate these keywords on the right places on your website. Now, the most important place to populate your keywords are in the title and meta description. Because in the search results, the title tag right here is the first thing that comes up and it's probably the highest determining factor of how Google categorizes your page. So the title is up here and this is the meta description. And the title, you want to put your keywords, and in the meta description, you want to write verbiage that actually entices someone to click on the link. Now, you also want to use your keywords in your URLs as well. Now, if you look at my online store, an unoptimized URL looks like the following. bumblebeelinens.com slash productinfo.php question mark PID equals 571. Now, if you took a look at this URL, you would have absolutely no idea what was on the page. But an optimized version of your URL would look like bumblebeelinens.com slash ladies handkerchiefs. By using the keyword in your URL, that actually helps in the rankings as well. You also want to use your keywords as part of your image names. Now just taking a random image from my site, an unoptimized named image would look like bumblebeelinens.com slash images slash DSC 867532. This is the file name that comes directly from my digital camera. But an optimized version of my URL would include the item name as part of the file name. So it would be bumblebeelinens.com slash images slash mens.pocketsquare.jpg. And again, this is important so that your images actually show up in image search as part of Google. Now here are the biggest SEO mistakes that I see people make. And the first one is that most shop owners don't do any keyword research in the first place. They randomly populate the keywords for their products and their categories. But here's the thing. You need to pick keywords that people are actually searching for. You need to take into account the search competition for that keyword to even give yourself a chance of ranking in search. And most importantly, you need to write unique content using these keywords on all of your pages. All right, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a quick demo on how I do keyword research for my online store. And this little demo is going to start on mywifequitterjob.com, which is my blog. And what I want you to do is I want you to scroll down and I want you to click on Longtail Pro. Longtail Pro is the keyword research tool that I use for all my blog posts and for every single page on my site. And I'll show you how it works in a little bit, but if you click on this link, you will actually get 30% off. I also believe that there is a free trial, so if you want to follow along with this tutorial, go ahead and click on this link and sign up real quick before continuing. All right, so this is what the Longtail Pro tool looks like. And the way it works is you want to type in a seed keyword in here, and in this case, I'm using the example wrestling gear. So I typed in wrestling gear here, and then you specify how many keyword suggestions that you want the tool to spit out, and then you hit retrieve. And in this case, I told Longtail Pro to go and find 100 different permutations of the keyword wrestling gear, and this is what it spit out. Okay, now, assuming I want to sell wrestling gear, wrestling gear in general is not a good keyword term because it's not very specific. You want to find specific wrestling gear to sell online. And you can use this tool to figure out which products are in high search demand with very low competition. One of the numbers that you have to pay attention to is average KC. Now, what does KC stand for? It stands for keyword competitiveness. And in general, any keyword that is under 40 tends to be moderately competitive, and that actually gives you a chance of ranking in search. And anything lower than 30, I would say, is very simple and straightforward to rank in search. Now, in terms of search volume, you also want to pick keywords that have a high search volume as well. And I generally like to pick keywords that are over a thousand searches every single month. So in this example, Longtail Pro spit out a whole bunch of keywords related to wrestling gear. And as you can see here, the keyword best wrestling shoes has a KC of only 25 with a search volume of 1300 searches per month. Similarly, Cool Wrestling Singlets and Custom Wrestling Singlets has very low keyword competitiveness with very high search volume. So guess what? I'm going to go on my online store and I'm going to use these keywords in the title tags of my category pages and I'm going to sell Best Wrestling Shoes. 
I'm gonna sell cool wrestling singlets because those pages, according to this analysis, are gonna be really straightforward to rank and search. All right, and so that's just a quick and dirty example of how I use Longtail Pro. It also includes a rank tracker and tools to help you analyze the backlinks of other competing sites. So that's just a very high level overview on how I do keyword research for my online store and my blog before I put out any piece of content or before I even decide how I wanna structure my site. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, this is just a small taste of what is in my full blown class over at Profitable Online Store. If you're interested in starting your own Profitable Online Store, head on over to ProfitableOnlineStore.com. I offer live weekly office hours where I actually get online and do a webinar and you can ask me questions in real time. In addition to that, I will answer your emails 24 seven. And at this point, there's a whole bunch of students in the class and it's a great community to join. So once again, if you're interested in starting your own online store, head on over to ProfitableOnlineStore.com.